Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I have two DIYs for you. So one is going to be a wreath and it's a very simple Dollar Tree wreath and the other one uses Dollar Tree item and one upcycled item that I just had in my stash. Now I'm participating in a challenge hosted by my lovely friend Kiki from Kiki DIYs and her challenge is called Crafting from My Stash. So my stash is basically stuff that's left over from 4th of July. Um, this is going to be second to the last DIY for the 4th of July. So I hope you like what I created. The first item is going to be Dollar Tree wreath and the other one is going to be also all from Dollar Tree except for one item that I upcycled. Without further ado, let's get into this video. This project is going to be a full Dollar Tree project. The first thing you need is a foam wreath from the Dollar Tree and then a scarf. I cut the scarf in half, just folded it and went along the folded line. To start wrapping the scarf around my wreath, I'm just bringing it together at one end and pinning it to the wreath. As I'm going around the wreath with my scarf, I am hiding the seam line so that the fabric is nice and smooth on the outside of the wreath. I first played with the idea of putting some flowers because it would be a really nice contrast between the white and the blue, but then at the end I decided to get my burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and make a simple but a pretty bow. To bring my simple bow together, I'm just squeezing it in the middle and tying it with a mini zip tie. Then I'm cutting some ducktails for the edges of the ribbon. To cover up that black zip tie, I'm just using some jute cord and wrapping it around the center of the bow and hot gluing it in the back. In order to hang the bow, I decided to use some of that jute cord and make a little loop. To finish off this beautiful 4th of July wreath, I'm grabbing these 14 millimeter pearls that I got at the Dollar Tree. Can you guys believe how big these are? And at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, that's wow. So I'm just grabbing these and making sure that the sides where you would put a thread in are kind of facing sideways so you can't see them from the front. And I'm just putting the pearls and hot gluing them along the wreath all the way around. Can you guys guess what this is? Well, it's actually a wall hanging from Michaels. 
and usually it has some sort of greenery on it and this particular one had succulents on it and I made a wreath out of it. I'm going to insert the video right here. So what I decided to do is to do my own wall hanging. I had three of these deco mesh rolls left over from the 4th of July. So what I decided to do is grab my deco mesh and I'm going to be making loops, pulling them through the squares in this background. Now there are points on this background on one side. So where there are points, that's going to be my front. And as you see, my back is smooth. So first thing you see me doing here is I'm pulling the tail through and I'm going to zip tie it to my little background. The important thing to remember here is I will be starting and ending always in the back so that the loops are going to be going towards the front of the background. Every few loops, I use the zip tie to secure the loops in place just to make sure that nothing falls out of place. And if it does, you don't have to go too far. Here I'm just grabbing my loops and I'm opening them up to see how full my project is going to be and if I needed to do it in every single little square. And I came to the conclusion that yes, it needed to be every single square. So I just continued back and forth on my background until I was all done with all the deco mesh that I had on hand. When I was done with all my deco mesh, I had left, I had two and a half rows left over. So I just grabbed my wire cutters and I just snipped the leftover background off. When I choose the decoration for my pieces, I consider the overall picture. My deco mesh is quite busy with the red, white, and blue. So I knew I needed something simple, but also something to bring everything together. So I started with my favorite ribbon, which is the gross grain ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just doing a simple bow and bringing it together. And what I decided for this project is I'm going to do three bows and then just layer them one on top of the other. To bring everything together, I'm using this checkered red and white ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree on Valentine's. Now I have the red and the white and it's not that busy, but it is going to complete the project really simply and beautifully. And for my third bow, once again, I am using the white grass grain ribbon. And this one is 5 8 of an inch. And I'm just going to hot glue it right on top of the red checkered one. I decided to attach the bow straight onto one of my loops uh, where my bow looked really nice and with the help of my handy dandy finger protectors I just hot glued the bow onto my mesh.
using lots and lots of hot glue on the back of my carnation i'm just hot gluing it to the center of my bow now i'm just cutting the edges of my bow tails and i'm all done <music> 